miss you all again. My Savior, worthy of praise, rejected you in many ways. Cause you're faithful in all my days. I remember when rolling swishes, taking shots to the head. Leaving the club at four was something I did instead. I'm holding on your promises, reading your daily word. I was the first to think you free, but I was hanging off the curb. Rolling on the straight and narrow, usually I was swerve. Until my heavenly father picked my face about the door. I thank the Lord that I am right where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be. I thank the Lord because He came and He set me free. How many guys are free here tonight? Woo! Come on. I will praise God forever. I'm just giving Him the glory He deserves. Yes, my King reigns forever. The Lord is mighty. Help me glorify His word. Uh, they told me I would never make it. I believed it. I'm acknowledging my mistake. Yeah, must have mistaken because honestly in my spirit. outshine the politicians of Greece and Rome. Rome. Roaming the spaces between my prayers and desires, these misfits and martyrs woo me with stories of war and glory. They tremble and whisper of him, the ancient of days, the great I am, the living Elohim who with thunder and lightning so deeply plundered their souls that they surrendered life, home, flesh, blood, and bones for him. And I want to see what they saw. I want to see what they saw. What vision seared their minds so that every fear was replaced with the certainty of God's realness that made them stand unbending before Pharaoh's and Persian princes. What taste is the promise that possessed them to such an extent that they willingly became exiles of their only known existence on the chance that maybe, just maybe, skies could contain infinity and time could stretch like eternity and that, yes, the human spirit could connect to the holiness of the one calling us out of slavery to become as saints and sons. Oh, what blooms so pure inside them like a viral strand attacking their DNA that in one glimpse they gave it all away for a faraway day, a faraway place, and a people not even been born yet seriously mm. what kind of insanity led them to shout though he slay me yet will i trust him amen though he slay me yet will i trust him though he strip me of every layer of skin and flesh that I've so carefully wrapped around the idols of my face and name so that I'm laid bare, open and vulnerable like Isaac on the altar, staring up at a double-edged knife about to plunder my heart. And I'm wondering how in God's name are the promises that you made to my father Abraham ever going to come to pass when I am that promise, even then. When the demons are yelling at me, 
To curse God, swerve a hard left, drive off that cliff and die my own way, even then. Will something rise up inside me and say, Though you desire to slay me, God, yet will I trust you. Though you desire to slay me, God, yet will I trust you. And it must have been this. God's desire that made him creator and king of the universe bend so, so low, wrapping himself in layer after layer of skin and flesh, eating the stench of mortality just to be with me. Oh, it must have been this that possessed these men and women to such an extent. His desire that cuts to the very root of our iniquity, freeing every chord, every note, every vibration from a diminished progression. His desire that strengthens us as we wait patiently, fighting and battling but hoping and believing we wait patiently for a day and a place and a generation who will see the fullness of the kingdom of God, the new Jerusalem, the city of Zion descending like heaven, raining down on this planet. Oh, it must have been this that possessed these men and women to such an extent. Simply his desire for us to be a peculiar people set apart for his very own special possession. Thank you, thank you guys. Spread that gospel. So again, my name is Kuya Paul. Uh, my next piece is actually gonna be called Gentleman. This is when I do kind of a cross piece, or basically it's a, it's a piece where I know I'm gonna be event, uh, evangelizing to the crowd. Some people are already Christian. Maybe they've been in church for a very long time. And this is a piece where I kind of like flip the, um, like flip it on its head where I kind of question things that we sometimes let go within the church, and I allow people to look at it in a different way. Amen. So maybe that could be the opening for the gospel to come into a life that's been hearing it for so long but hasn't really responded to it. So I once was told. I once was told. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you need to do that sometimes. You need to be like, you know, hey, I once was told. <laughs> well, but I once was told that my God was a gentleman. What does that mean, gentlemen? Does it mean he wears a, a top hat and monocle? He sports a cane, he bows a lot. He wears suits and ties, maybe, you know, shiny shoes. Seriously, what does that mean to you? Because when I think of my God, he's not gentle. Let me rephrase that a little. My God spoke the universe with a gesture. Just a word on his lips spoke the worlds into existence. A power like a billion new bombs exploding in unison. Now the magnitude of that quaking, it was meant for creating, no, don't get me wrong, that power can be threatening, so gentle. You mean like the shepherd of my soul, that leads me to still waters, he restores me, but, whoa, don't forget he's a man of war, with a fire like aura bursting from his core. That gentle shepherd rides in warring war horse, not just a lamb to the slaughter, he's a king of kings forever. You see, my God's not gentle, if you think it means timid. Because if you provoke him, his wrath wins and consumes your very being. Even less remains than ash. And with one word spoken, he commands heaven's host, although his power alone can bring you to your knees if your body still remain. So by God being gentle, yes, he's a God of love. Now don't get me wrong. The God of mercy and grace, of hope and faith that paid a great cost, suffered a great loss, dying on the cross. Well, let's think about that for a second. Because none of us could have paid the price that he paid. None of us could save. Because even our love pales in comparison to the amazing power of love of the chosen one. You see, even his gentle love is not gentle at all. They say he'd never come in without your permission. Do <laughs> splash, people. He died against your consent. He didn't need your go-ahead. He died against your wishes. Because truth be told, even his love for you is vicious. So when I think about my gentle God, I can't see. Instead, I perceive that his hands are dirty. Still caked with mud and blood, still scarred with nails that tore cartilage. His hands, they're splintered. His feet, they're blistered. His brow is still caked with the sweat of a scorching day. Even his chest and his back, they're buffed out. They're not thin. All from bench pressing arson. His shots so loud, they echo their rage. Like torrents making landfall, like tornadoes. Twisting houses, his war cry in a house, it resounds my soul. Because all gentle really means 
is almighty power under control. So my God, a gentleman? So once again, my name is Queen Paul. <laughs> I always just forget, like, how do you end that piece? But I like how it just drowns out all like, so what's the answer? What's this? Like, well, that's the that's the question. And that's a lot of times that's why I like ending that piece, because it allows the people hearing it. It's like, is my God gentle? Yes, he's this powerful God, but he's a God that loves me so gently. And that's what can open the door sometimes. Now I'm going to end one more time. Uh, one last piece that I use, usually use for kind of a secular background. Sometimes I'll do it in Christian background, but when I'm at open mics, since you have that open door, this is my conviction, but I like to go in gently. I mean, to use that word like softly. But you go in gently, but then you, you, you give them the taste of the word. And the word even says, taste and see that the Lord is good. So I have the conviction of like, don't feast and see. Like some, you, don't want a, you don't want a gospel overload, but then you can taste the gospel. You can see the goodness of God. You can have those tastes. And those are the tastes that gets you, when you go to the secular venue, oh, man, you're really good. It's like, you know, it's because of God. It's because God has done this in my life, and that's what people want to see. So once again, before I go, really want to encourage you guys, there are venues here, all around Southern California, that you can go to and spread the gospel. You don't have to wait for an invitation. God's already given me an invitation. The, the, the harvest is plenty, but the workers are they're right here. The workers are eating at meetings. <laughs> I don't know if that's convicting. By the way, one more thing. I do have my table over there. I also have social medias, Facebook, Twitter. If you do want to follow me, I do have that. Kuya Paul, K-U-Y-A-P-A-U-L on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, I also have a WordPress blog if you also want to follow that as well too. Or you can see all of this at kuyapaulpoetry.com. So my last piece is that I wanted to write a love song for a special someone that I love. Turns out I don't have one. <laughs> so I ran out of words fast for three sentences it lasted. The fact that I loved another and what sucked wasn't what I wanted. Just beauty blindly flaunting like gorgeous is haunting the abandoned recesses of my heart. But that was the spark. They got me wanting to write from the start. You see, I don't know that kind of love. But if I did, I would think of roller coaster rides of emotions. You know, like drinking mana potions for all you nerds out there restoring life through each new dosage like real love letters each with their own postage like dark nights of twinkled stars imagining jupiter mars and having all love on distant worlds colonized and thinking shared housing one or two bedrooms living room sizes like heartbeats memorized like the flying of trick kites soaring twirling almost falling but to control that effort flying love unraveled like monarch butterflies towards heaven, like hitting the third of that triple seven or sharing a slushy shake at a 7-Eleven. Two straws, yay. Rendezvous at midnight, witnessed only by candlelight, their twinkled irises, they fade as those starry nights go to dawning day. Love like late night cell phone calls. Those late charges reflect the change in your life. You charge your card, you pay the price, if it's the only debit card purchase ever, you're gonna expect change coming. Because that change in their pocket reflects the heart. Change under pressure, it turns to diamonds. Quick change, another charge. Transactions wake attractions and then chapels with two factions joined as one. My love is two player. Not co-op, no, two single player. I'm talking Ryu versus Chun-Li. Because versus leads to versus a playful banter through coin purses. You lose the game. Curses, but a relationship immerses with different games, different versions. Love is mutual coercion. That love becomes an explosion of 64 bit emotions. Then that love becomes an implosion. The two are one never to be alone again. And that love gives birth to new versions. You know, those ones that require maternity ward nurses. <laughs> My love is a big tragedy. Like the transplants of kidneys taken from fatalities. Two people with little commonality. Like Frankenstein's monster. Frantically, rapidly, the fusion is insanity. Horrors that match so desperately, yet miraculously, that tragedy 
It works together wonderfully. Finding love like passion nailed to a tree. A sacrifice so moving. Like you're strumming heartstrings with a combat knife. You're ripped and torn in orders that just cease life. You're shocked at the true side of love. <laughs> then compares. You just left us there. With a shock, with an awe, with a silence. Unbared. He died a quiet death. Just for me. But then I'm free. Free to live, move, breathe, soar. That liberty is so free. But that freedom gets so lonely. Until I turn to see that it's you and me forever for eternity. See, that's love. Love I need. Love I'm looking for. But I don't know that kind of love yet. At least not in someone else special. So I wanted to write a love song. Couldn't think of a single sentence, so I thought I'd I thought I'd live that love song. And I'll sing it to you in glory when it's ended. My name once again is Kuya Paul. Thank you so much for having me. You guys, uh, how many of us know that God has already equipped us with what we need and it's inside of us? Amen. 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 Yeah, this, this first song I'm doing is about the walls of Jericho and how they can come down in your life. All right, so we're going to run track number one. <laughs> now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out, no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Do you see how to deliver Jericho into your hands? Yeah. What you need? God buried inside of you so you can succeed. Triumph over the enemy, follow his lead. Open up your mouth and make the enemy bleed. Quit wasting time. Yeah, you know the dust that make you start. Go hard for the creed, I can do all things. God hears your cries and your silent screams. He sees the wars between you and your wildest dreams. Give him the praise he deserves. It's hard to make a fool. Trust and believe you will succeed. He won't let you. Lord, you will do this, and I'm going to give you praise. I'm going to make the devil feel it. Give him the praise he deserves by his word and make him fall. Trust and believe you will succeed, he won't let you fall. Lord, you will kill us, and I'm gonna give you praise. I'm gonna make the devil feel it. Oh, Lord, my God, I know he can deliver you out the enemy's hands. Took me from a dark place in my life. Changed my heart, saved my life, man, made it right. Just gotta keep believing and give a praise through the circumstance. His word says for you to prosper, it's in his plans. Don't ever let up, no, don't ever give up, go. Until you can go no more, then just stand. I believe with every bone that's inside of me, Jesus supplies my needs. I'm similar to the tree, planted by the water streams. Rooted in his word that has started as a seed. You ain't got a word about tomorrow, guaranteed. I know this because Christ takes care of me. Put his word to the test, then taste, then see. That the Lord is good. Don't just take it from me. Look, give him the praise he deserves by his word to deliver you. Trust and believe you will succeed. He can be a friend of you. God's word is my weapon. Tell the devil keep it stepping for our blast with the message. You know what it is. Christ, what I've been repping, ain't gonna be no second guessing. Cause it's on when I bless him, he is why I live. He hears your cries, he just silent screams. He sees the walls between you and your wildest dreams. Give him the praise he deserves. It's going to make him move. Trust him believe you will succeed, he won't let you move. Lord, you will feel this, and I'm gonna give him praise. I'm gonna make the devil feel it. Give him the praise he deserves by his word, he'll make him fall. Trust him believe you will succeed, he won't let you fall. Lord, you will feel this, and I'm gonna give you praise. I'm gonna make the devil feel it. I will love. Man. Amen. Let me just run a second track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This beat feels so good. What is this, velvet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fresh shoes, fresh hair, fresh soul. Fresh soul. Money in my pocket, hard to go. go. Treat others how I want to be treated. Yeah. With me, it's all love. Everything else, delete. So I got my pure, my OG homies. Um, 
What love I know they do this for me. Preach do your thing. That's what they told me. Uh, and they know I'm out here giving God glory. Still have these blocks, but I gave my message. Christ came along and he made corrections. Pop check me up, and I write these songs. But in my secret place, while my Savior Jesus Christ writes my wrongs. Living safe the choice, oh man, I'm blessed. Still in the hood, but I ain't stressed. Cause the Holy Spirit gives me joy. The only one that can fill that void. What you know about it, you know? Man is a free moral agent. Many you can do what you want to do. God wants you to do what the devil wants you to do. Show choice. Every day. But I choose Christ. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. I like money too. I like nice cars too. I'm fully capable of sinning, bro. Just like you. But thank God for grace. On the cross, he took my place. Yeah, he went through that. So I didn't have to go through that. I give him all my praise. My testimony ain't too different from your story. Straight in my rags that I thought was riches need for eternal glory. Gotta keep my faith. Keeps me in place. If you doubt my vision given by my father, get out my way. God bless your soul, but I gotta reach my goal. Gotta reach my goal. Can't let you drag me down, but I try to move forward. To the mark I press, free from guilt and shame. 2015 years before I existed, my life was changed. When he died and rose and set me free. Gave man on earth hope for eternity. Uh, fully man, fully God laid down his life. The ultimate sacrifice for us, his name is Jesus Christ. What do you know about? Stay man on nowadays, man. You see it? Praise the Lord. World going crazy. He can save us. That is with me. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. All the time, all the time, God is good. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm Preach. You can find me on Instagram at Preach the Artist. Uh, on Facebook, Brian Preach Benny. Uh, and I'll be passing out my business.